lived on like a one street and all these other people were skateboarding and like you couldn't leave that street because it was like guarded because it was like in Africa so it was just like one street and then I had this like Barbie board that they gave to me for free <laughs> and that's how I started. Yeah. Uh, at first I thought skateboarding was black but then my stepbrother stopped skating I picked up his board and I found it was pretty fun so um, I just kept skating. I've been on the board like four years now so uh, slowly progressing but yeah that's how, that's how I started skating. It's pretty fun. Yeah, with my dad and we were flicking through the channels and X Games was on and like right when he flicked through the channel I just saw like Tony Hawk like flying through the air. That. So the Bay Area has always had a really strong skate scene and some of the most prominent professionals have come from this area, so I definitely have my share of being here and skating the, the parks and doing exhibitions. I grew up on the East Coast in North Carolina and so I always saw the Bay Area in like the skateboard magazines and videos when I was a kid, so there's a ton of skateboard history and like, um, you know, these guys like Tommy Guerrero and some of the early skaters from the 80s. When I first started coming to California for skateboarding, I would always do it. You know, San Francisco and Oakland and Berkeley. Once you become our age, you're just trying to keep the tricks that you used to be able to do. When you're doing it just with your buddies, it's fun and you're trying to push yourself and trying to progress. And when you're doing it in front of a crowd of like a thousand people, you're just trying not to fall. And son, We kind of have our own like mech in skateboarding, like the Bay Area itself, how the companies originated out of here. The majority of this skate park, since it has a lot of like cars and stuff, it will be transitioned, so we'll call it tranny. Versus in like street skating, there's like tranny skating, like park and stuff like this, and street skateboarding, more like what I do, like ledges and stairs and stuff. My boards normally last me like two to three weeks, so once I snap, I just get a new one. My brother used to skate, and he would bring his skateboard to my house, and I started skating because of that. In skateboarding, you can do anything you want, and you don't have to like follow any rules. You can skate however you want, you can do whatever tricks you want. It's always someone who's skating. The people just have personal style and stuff in skateboarding. Like skateboarding itself is kind of like an art to me, just because you can literally like look at something and paint whatever you want, like just doing what, whatever trick you want to try. SF, I just got tackled by this black, giant black cop. Because like, apparently the legends, I was trying to wax it, and then I was trying to skate it. And like for a second, I saw him from a distance, but I really could not tell if he was a, like a security guard or anything. But then when I was trying to skate it, he just, just tapped me into the grass. He was like, can't yeah, skate here. You see the sign? Like when you start skateboarding, Roger, like the world looks a lot oh, different. Okay. Big just marble ledge, like just a normal ledge that you that someone would just sit on or a bench or something. It was just made out of marble and it certainly doesn't have any grind blockers on it. I just skate there for hours. Every time you walk down the street, like you can always just think, could I skate that? Yeah. So like yeah. you see a spot that's really good and everybody's just gonna have that same feeling about it. Like, my mom would catch me just staring at something. She'd be like, what are you looking at? I'm like, you don't see that stair set over there that like you can do something down? Or it'll be like it'll be like a curve just in the touch. We see like a six stair and it was like, oh we should hit that six stair. But like we were like in the car with somebody and didn't skate it and care about it, maybe like just a stair set. So you know. My style of skating fast, aggressive. It feels like a lot of times when you're carving a park, it just feels like you're floating, kinda like how surfing used to feel like that's what it originated from. Surfers used to float on waves and when they didn't have waves to skate they started skateboarding so it kind of has that same aspect and feel to it but um, I know it feels good like landing a trick like I can't really explain it it's like I guess someone getting an A on the report card or winning the winning shot in basketball. I never play sports or anything but it's kind of like that. It just feels good it's like Skateboarding is kind of just a personal thing, like you, it's personal goals that you just get higher and higher, however much you want to achieve. Okay, that's a good one.